So, you're thinking about moving to Fredericksburg, Virginia, and you're wondering, what is it like to live here? It's time to rip the band-aid off and just tell you the truth. Maybe you've always dreamed of moving here. Maybe you're moving here for a new job. You're searching for what it's like to live in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Well, after living here for a couple of years, you know, I'm not born here <laughs> and I'm not raised here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, but I'm going to give you a tour of what it's like to see Fredericksburg, Virginia just like it is. So let's get to it guys you know i'm just going to be open and transparent i'll share with you guys in this video the good the bad the ugly some pros and cons about fredericksburg virginia and everything you need to know before you make your move here to fredericksburg virginia yes we'll be talking about all kinds of different things that has happened in fredericksburg even the climate all of it even the weather we're getting right after it right now as you guys can see there is carl's ice cream this is a historic place where people come and get their soft serve ice cream it has been around for a long time and there's the mason dixon cafe that is another favorite of the locals here in downtown Fredericksburg. Hey guys, if this is your first time here visiting my channel, you'll wanna know everything about living and working and playing, the pros and the cons, <laughs> living in the Fredericksburg area, make sure that you tap the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications every time we do a new video. We are getting dozens of emails and phone calls and text messages every single day from people moving and relocating to the Fredericksburg, Virginia area, and we absolutely love it. If you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Fredericksburg, Virginia area, make sure to give us a call, a text, send us an email, however you would like to get a hold of us <laughs> for sure we've got your back when you're moving to Fredericksburg, virginia and the greater metro area what we do is work and we live and we play <laughs> in Fredericksburg, virginia <laughs> Okay, now we are going to talk about some of the pros and some of the cons that I promised you guys. So some of the cons of living downtown Fredericksburg, as you can see, you've got Rambler style homes and there are no garage. Some of these lots are smaller, um, so there is no garage. Okay. So another con, as you can see, we just left some nice single family homes and within a half of a block you've got some commercial so pros and cons some people say hey that's okay because i can walk to some of these commercial things other people um being in the downtown they want a little bit more privacy and stuff so downtown fredericksburg you're really looking at homes that are closer together um the majority of them is off street parking um you may have some parking right inside of your property but there are very few uh, garages um, in comparison to some of the neighborhoods that are just outside downtown Fredericksburg. Coming up here on the left is Old Town Steak and Seafood, another fine restaurant. Uh, there's Annie's Grill and as you can see there's some more homes here. Some are commercial. Um, it's a mix here on some of the streets. Being able to walk to downtown and eat at Fahrenheit or Castiglio's, people really, really enjoy that. So that is one of the pros of living downtown. You just walk out of your house and before you know it or get on a bike and you're at a coffee shop, you're at a diner or one of the local restaurants downtown Fredericksburg. So as you can see, there's 
just some pros or some cons and it's all about the lifestyle that you're wanting to have so if you're a commuter you've got the rail which is a pro um it's just so convenient and downtown Fredericksburg is close to Washington DC it is also about 45 minutes from Richmond which is the capital of Virginia and Charlottesville if you want to go towards the mountains and the James River and take a day trip that's only about 45 minutes as well so downtown Fredericksburg is centrally located to so many different places so you live downtown you get to experience the downtown lifestyle you go outside of downtown Fredericksburg and we're going to talk to you guys in other videos that we do about what it's like to live to work and to play in the greater Fredericksburg area all right there is the church on the left, uh, one of many that are downtown Fredericksburg and some other buildings here. You can see we're actually uh, coming up here on the right-hand side, uh, the coffee shop, Hyperion. This is an old-time local favorite. Uh, people actually come out of town and um, they, they're like, where's Hyperion? It's on the corner there. Everybody absolutely loves it. and. To the right here, another uh, one of the downtown favorite restaurants is Foodie. Um, we saw Sedona's at the very, very beginning of this video. Just so many different places to eat, um, to cafes, to fine dining like the Fredericksburg Steak and Ale. And we're actually coming up on this is the road that leads to the VRE, the train station. Uh, there's a restaurant right in front of the train station. Um, uh, the county courthouse buildings are here to the left. You see the flag. Um, very historical looking. Um, these are mainly brick um, buildings here. Another courthouse, downtown Fredericksburg. And you can see that there's just so many different things. Uh, there's another church, like I said, there's many of those, um, many of different worship places. <laughs> there's some old historic homes. These are hundreds of years old. Right there to the left, you can see the train station and the restaurant. Uh, get a closer view there. There we go. And um, just going straight underneath the tunnel here and we are going to take a left instead. I am not driving today because I have the camera, but this is Old Town uh, Fredericksburg. You can see the history, um, row homes there, uh, all attached. Downtown Fredericksburg is just a great place. It's got such a great mix of history, charm, uh, you can see there's Brock's, another restaurant that's actually on the water. A lot of the college students love going down there and the locals. Uh, there's a travel agency. And as we go underneath this bridge, we're actually heading towards the river. Um, downtown Fredericksburg is home of the Rappahannock River. And this area that we're coming up to, there's a nice little green area there on the left. We've seen people picnicking there, um, but this is called the City Dock. Uh, people come down here. As you can see, uh, there's the boat. There is a boat launch, um, plenty of parking. Um, bring your family down, your friends, get togethers, lots of history. There you go. Um, this area does get flooded out. That house has been flooded so many different times. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in my car. I'm trying to capture all of everything that the city dock has to offer. There's some historical landmarks for you. And as you can see, there is the river. And we're going to actually get out of our car here. Um, we're going to go ahead and park. Um, today, they actually had some people down on their boards doing some yoga. There's some people that are fishing. As you can see, there's an Old Town Steak and Seafood. I just love this restaurant. Oh my goodness, if you're looking for steak and seafood, Hyperion, a coffee. I know I've showed you guys these before, but they're some of my old-time favorites. And this is the Old Mill Park. 
This is also located downtown Fredericksburg. There are lots of parks in Old Town Fredericksburg. Old Mill Park is one of the bigger ones, um, but there's probably close to 20 uh, parks that are downtown Fredericksburg. Old Mill Park actually has um, a playground there and they have water access. They've got a soccer field. So there's a lot of people that actually go down to Old Mill Park uh, all times, all seasons of the year. Uh, it's just a great place. And as you can see, there's plenty of sidewalks. There's plenty of parking. I, I know a lot of people say, downtown Fredericksburg, where's the parking? But they do have a big parking garage. Uh, at some point in this video, I'm going to show you that. Um, but as we're traveling down, I think you guys are getting a really good, there's some new condos that are being built. There's just all kinds of stuff that is going on downtown Fredericksburg. So if you're looking, there's the parking garage. I knew I had it in the video. There you go. So as you can see, plenty of parking. Um, put your car in there and go down, walk through the parks, go down to the city dock, have some lunch at one of these uh, old time favorites. Uh, have a coffee at the Hyperion. Um, there's Body Works if you're looking to work out um, downtown Fredericksburg. It's down one of these streets up here that are up and coming. But as you can see, Fredericksburg, Virginia has history. It's got charm and character. Look at some of these homes. I mean, you're talking, there's Ramblers, there's commercial stuff, there's apartments, there's condos. Um, there's new luxury townhomes um, that actually have elevators in them. So if you're thinking about moving to the Fredericksburg, Virginia, give me a call 540-840-1133. I'll give you a tour of some of the homes uh, in the downtown Fredericksburg area. If you're looking for a condo, there's the Body Works workout place. And let's get you on a zoom call and talk to you about what is your favorite thing that you've seen in this video that you like about downtown Fredericksburg uh, are you looking for a really large home are you looking what kind of lifestyle are you gonna have those are the types of things that we would like to talk to you about and I'm Barbara Jennings and I hope you guys have been enjoying the tour. There is more to come, so stay tuned. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna know more, and also the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos that are coming in Fredericksburg, Virginia. You know, a lot of people don't realize that Fredericksburg is a city and we call it downtown Fredericksburg. It's a historic district and it's small and it's bordered by the Rappahannock River. You know, there's homes here that are over 400 years old, pre-Civil War. And you know, if you are a history buff, you are just going to love living in downtown Fredericksburg. You know, it's only 50 miles of Washington, D.C. We've got a commuter rail downtown. And in downtown, there's lots of shopping. Not only is there shopping, but there's also parks. As I have mentioned before, that there's Old Mill Park. We're coming up to Old Mill Park up here on the right-hand side of downtown Fredericksburg. And here we go. We're gonna give you guys a tour of Old Mill Park. It is located on the Rappahannock River, and there are soccer field and playground and lots of area a covered picnic area where you can uh, have birthday parties fa family gatherings just all kinds of good stuff um more houses up there to the left and some apartments here right across from old mill park uh, i said we were turning however we are turning now there is old mill park all righty then like I said, one of many parks located in downtown Fredericksburg. And here we are traveling down. You can see the luscious green grass. You know, I talked to you guys about some pros and cons in the Fredericksburg area, and I hadn't touched on the weather. You know, here in Virginia, we've got seasons. We've got the fall, uh, we've got winter, and 
sometimes it snows and sometimes it doesn't. We just never know because we're right on the cusp of the mountains and the, the border of a little bit south and a little bit north. So sometimes we get lots of snow. Sometimes we only get a little bit. Uh, and then we've got spring days and summer days. So we've got all four seasons here in Virginia. Um, you can see plenty of parking in Old Mill Park here. And then you also have the playground that we just passed by. And these are the fields. See how much green, there's a soccer field. And then right over there where the trees are, that is the water access that you can get down to the Rappahannock. There's a lot of people that take their floats and their tubes and just have a grand time floating on the river. And also you can go fishing in the Rappahannock. Yes, as long as you have your fishing license, you just have to be uh, 16 and older in the Fredericksburg in the Virginia area to go fishing uh, with a license. If you're under 16, and then fish away and enjoy. So this is Old Mill Park. <laughs>